Hey guys, welcome back to TechEd. You know how you're storing a lot of data nowadays, whether it's your files, high quality audio, or maybe even your videos and photos that you've been taking. Well, Synology sent us a little something here, which is going to be very important for us in the coming years, storage. I'm Jeevan and let's take a look at what they sent us. So let's just jump into this. So this is what you call a NAS system and what a NAS is essentially is Network Attached Storage, NAS. So essentially what you're doing is you're plugging hard drives into a system that you can access from any device that you own. So this will be plugged into your modem or your router and it will act like your own private version of Dropbox or OneDrive or your Google Drive and you can back up your stuff all on this. So I think before we go any further, let's just take a look at what's in here. So what we have here is the Synology DS224 Plus. So it is a very small sleek device, but it's essentially a computer right here. It has its own processor, it has its own RAM, and it's got hard disks running in it. This particular model comes with an Intel Celeron quad-core processor and it's pretty durable actually from the feels of it. So in the box with the DS224 Plus, what you get is the DS224 unit itself and it also comes with two bays for your hard disk. You have your plugs, networking cables, and adapter with a few screws if you want to use them. As you can see, it is primarily made out of plastic on the outside. You have a bit of metal in the inside and if you look really carefully, you can actually see that it has some sort of chipboard at the side. This particular slot here is for additional RAM if you need to add RAM to your system. So to get this set up, you're going to need to plug it into the power and also to your router so that you can access it over the internet. But before we do that, let's put in the hard disks. Synology has sent us two 4 terabyte hard disks which are Synology branded in the rest. So to install the hard disk, we're going to need to put the hard disk in these caddies which I pulled out from the Synology itself. And you don't really need to use the screws that came with the Synology because Synology has these which help lock 
the hard disk into its place. There are two on each of the caddies, just remove them. You're going to need to put in the hard disk. Remember that your connector should be on the back. So once you have them in the caddy, all you have to do is slide them into the base that come in the Synology itself. Just make sure you have your sockets aligned with the sockets that are inside. And just to make things pretty, you have an outer cover. So once you're done with that, you're going to need to install the software that needs to be on the unit itself. And you're going to do this pretty much wirelessly. You need to hook up the Synology to your router. And there's just one file that you need to load on. And it will automatically install the software and set it up for you. And then you can customize your experience based on how you want to use it. Let's discuss what this actually is. So in essence, this is your own personal Dropbox. You'll be able to access it anywhere from any device as long as your internet is up and running. The good thing about having this is that you can actually set it up with as much memory as this casing supports. Now, this is a very basic one and we have only two hard disks inside here. But it can go up to, I think the maximum right now is 32 terabytes if I'm not mistaken. You can put two 16 terabyte drives in here. With the software that comes installed on this, you'll be able to access anything from files that you want to share, like on Google Drive. You can stream video. You can stream your audio. You can even edit the same file at the same time with your coworkers. So in essence, having this means that you are able to control how much memory you have and you can control who can access your data on your terms. But of course, it will be heavily dependent on your upload and download speeds when you connect this to your internet. Now let's jump back into setting this up so that you can have your own personal cloud. Now we're going to need power, so plug in the Synology DS224 Plus to the power socket. Then we're going to plug it into your router. Now remember to plug in both the network cables into your router. Yes, both of them. This will ensure you have fast download and upload speeds even when you're accessing your DS224 Plus remotely. Now that everything's plugged in, we're going to turn on the DS224 Plus and let it initialize. This is going to take a little while. It took us about 5 to 8 minutes. You'll know when it's done booting when you see the LAN 1, this 1 and this 2 lights turn on. Head to finds.synology.com and once there, let it search for your Synology device. Click connect and follow the steps. It will install the Disk Station Manager which will allow you to set up the DS224 Plus as you want to use it. You'll be setting up not only the disks but also your user profiles and permissions. So now that we've got the DS224 Plus, we're going to use it for about a month, so come back for part 2. We'll be giving you a full rundown of the experience of using the Synology DS224+. Plus. Now, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more things from TechEnt. I'm Jeevan, and I'll see you in the next one.